paper, rock, scissors to see who opens the show. Let's do it. Ready? Once, twice, three, shoot. Once, twice, three, shoot. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. What's going on? I'm Mike Adam. I'm Jim Shear. And this is our brand new show. It's called Gimme Five. And I would say the concept is super simple, right? He's not talking it down, though. Right. It's a, it's a genius concept. It's just simple. Right. Each week we um, choose a category and then we give you our favorite five. My top five, his top five, and then some you weeks, weigh in. But some weeks it could be a bad five. Exactly. It this, week's, this week, though, it's a good five. Right, right. It could be the, the worst five of all time right. or whatever. But um, So this week we chose uh, the top five pop songs of 2014. Uh, and since I did the intro, why don't you? Go I get with to go the first. first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know some people are sick of talking about 2014. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to talk about our top five pop songs of 2014. I had a cough. You're traveling for the holidays. Oh, right, so right. We're gonna do it now, and it, we're, we're still in January, so it's not like we're that far removed. Right. From 2014. Here goes. Uh, at number five, I thought this was just a nice classic pop song. Am I wrong? <laughs> from Nico and Vince. Sounds like a song the police would put out in the 80s. Right. Uh, number four, this might be number one on your list, I don't know. Might be number one on your list, Stay With Me from Sam Smith. It's not often that people rally around a ballad on pop radio. Yeah. People went nuts over this song in yep. 2014. Sam Smith, by the way, I think will win Album of the Year at the Grammys in wow. February. Uh, at number three, Problem from Ariana Grande featuring Iggy Azalea. Yep. I am not a fan of Ariana Grande. <laughs> I wanted to hate this song, but that saxophone loop and gotcha. the verse from Iggy Azalea, I couldn't resist it. Right, right. It's my number three pop song of 2014. Yep. Uh, number two, speaking of Iggy Azalea, Fancy featuring Charlie XCX, arguably the song of the summer. Statistically, it was the song of the summer. Right. And right. everybody in the USA was singing that hook from Charlie XCX. <laughs> yeah. I'm so fancy. And you can sing the rest. And then my number one pop song of 2014, a song that gave me faith in humanity once again, Turn Down For What? From DJ Snake and Lil Jon. 15 years ago, this would have been played at an underground rave. Right. 15 years later, I still can't believe it. It was a pop radio hit. Yeah. And people in middle America were playing it at their weddings. Right, right. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, world. Yeah. Turn down for what? All right, that's your number one for 2014. Yeah, your turn. So, good list there. Um, my five, a little different. Actually, we had uh, number five the same. I Sam go, Smith? No, I go with Nico and Vince. Okay, for, wow. For number five. Yeah, I thought uh, Am I Wrong was just a, a phenomenal record. It reminds me of the, the summertime, makes me happy, and it does sound like, uh, some of the vocals there sound like a young sting. So And no frills on that. No frills, no gimmicks. Just right. a straight up pop song. Right. Uh, number four, I'm going to go with Clean Bandit Rather Be. Thought it was, uh, you know, 2014 was a big year for the reinvention of dance. Love that record. That was my wife's favorite pop song. Really? Earlier. Yeah, she loved that. Okay. Uh, number three, I thought this was like a, a sleeper hit. Um, Echo Smith, the band uh, Cool Kids. I, you know, it, it's a feel-good song. It kind of reminds me of a vibe like Foster the People would put out. Um, and they're so young, you wouldn't know it from the song, but they're all in their teens. I thought it was a great record. Uh, number two, I'm going to go with Beyonce Partition. Just okay. a, a sexy song. I mean, um, you can't deny that. And number one, <laughs> this, this also <laughs> gave me faith in humanity again. Uh, Hosier, take me oh, to church. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with that for number one. I wanted to put that on my list, but it to me it wasn't a traditional pop song. Right. It was like an indie alt song that made its way onto pop radio. I agree with you. I was surprised that it it garnered so much mass appeal and, and did well on the pop charts and still is. So that was that was cool. Um, so, yeah, those are my top I five. I was hanging out with Ryan Tedder a couple weeks ago, and that was his favorite pop song. Really? Of 2014. Okay. So, my Mike Adam and Ryan Tedder <laughs> think alike. On the same page. Yeah, all right, yeah. good list. I, I don't hate Thank that. You. So uh, if you guys agree with us or disagree with us, you can comment below. And uh, I guess that will do it for episode one. 
Yeah, absolutely. And if you have a totally different list, if you're like, Jim, you're crazy, Mike, you're half crazy, uh, you know, let us know about your list. So uh, for Mike Adam, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Jens later. Why do you want me to say the no? Oh, no. you if you can if you can if you remember it, do it, and if okay. not, I'll do it. Okay. <clears throat> cool.